travelling through airports is quite difficult mm. and quite onerous on the tra- on the traveller. Uh, there's all the security checks. There's end- I mean, I, yes, it helps to maintain safety, but does it then become a burden for the traveller? Does it then become difficult for yeah, us to travel? Yeah. I don't think public transport will experience the same the same uh, way. I would say, uh, and I think it's not even preferable. We should not uh, uh, we should not uh, um, copy what happened in uh, air transport. First, because when we talk about public transport, we talk about urban uh, areas, about cities, and about numbers which are much more higher. Uh, volume of passengers is much more bigger than uh, air transport. You know that metro system in the world, for example, they transport 35 times. 35 times the number of passengers who who travels by air transport. So because also it's commuting, so we need, we cannot we cannot make people wait to to uh, proceed for uh, with with the security checks uh, at uh, at sta- at uh, stops or at the metro stations. In Beijing, uh, some years ago, they decided to have security checks at the entrance of each metro station. It lasted 24 hours because the queue was so long that they couldn't uh, cope with the with the with the demand. But what is important is to make uh, transport stations or the transport vehicles less attractive for those who would like to uh, provoke this this uh, these acts uh, by by also having uh, deploying human presence in the stations to to to, to check by uh, also uh, implementing CCTV cameras so for surveillance. Uh, and 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 also by making the stations more attractive for people. What do you see as the future for public transport? How are we going to cope with the increased demand exactly. and the increased petrol in our systems? That's the great challenge. Actually, we see demand increasing, and it means that we have to develop public transport systems in the sh- within shorter timelines. This is also the challenge we have in public transport that it takes so long to build, to design and build a metro system, for example. But we need this large infrastructure. But at the same time, we are with digitalization growing with also the expectations of the people who are changing. They want door-to-door transport. They want flexible on-demand transport system. And I think the future is the combination of both. Is that we should consider public transport beyond mass transit and that we integrate between these new mobility solutions and and public transport so and in this way we can cover this door to door we can have this also new mobility solutions covering the what we call the last mile uh, in uh, during for example low demand uh, low demand uh, periods of time or uh, low de- in low demand area areas where we have this on demand transport but when we have a high density in urban areas we have mass transit and the the future will be to integrate uh, both of them and to make them easily accessible for all travelers